Hey everybody, I'm back with another unboxing, and today I'm unboxing um, Hotel Transylvania, uh, Hotel Transylvania 2, uh, limited edition. This is Mavis, and I think this is like a beach style Mavis. I don't really know what her actual uh, name is, uh, um, what the actual name of the doll, official name is, but this doll can only be found uh, on Amazon, so it's an Amazon exclusive. There were three different versions of Mavis that came out uh, when she came out. So she's been out for a while. I think they came out right, right a, a little bit before Christmas of last year um, in doing this video. I've wanted her really bad, and uh, I finally got my hands on her. Let's go ahead and look at her box art here. Uh, it says Hotel Transylvania 3. Uh, Hotel Transylvania. Mavis all aboard. Vacation like a monster and meet Mavis on deck for the moonlight tan. Don't forget your moon block. And there's some bats all over it. And then there's a picture of Mavis with her future fiance. Or maybe they've already... Maybe they're on their honeymoon. I'm not really sure. I haven't actually seen the movie yet. So bad me. And that's the little brother, I believe. And then it says, look for, Maz look for Mavis in all of her other ghoulish fashions. Uh, you have Mavis Bats Out and Spectacular Bride Mavis. Um, we have done a review on Spectacular Bride Mavis, so I can go ahead and link that in the description below. Um, so yeah, we've looked at the box art and everything so far. Let's let's go ahead and get her opened. Okay, everybody. So here she is. Uh, this is Mavis outside of her box. Um, I think she's pretty awesome. Starting with her hair, she's got this cute little bob like she does, her character does in the show. And uh, she has the, um, what, what is the name for it? What is the actual official name for that? Um, V-line bangs, uh, vampire bangs, uh, there's, there's an actual name for that. Uh, widow's Peak. I think that's called a Widow's Peak. Yeah. <laughs> she's got the widow peaks, uh, Widow Peak bangs and then uh, the cute little bob style hair. She's wearing this cool headband that's purple, and it has, like, this really cool, um, pink flower with a yellow center. And the yellow center actually has these little black things that pop out of it, that, or yellow things that are painted black. And that, that's the back of her hair there, so it's like a, a side bob, that kind of, a choppy side bob. Her outfit, uh, which is removable, uh, has, vel it's by Velcro. Is it is a um, a purple dress that's supposed to look like a I think it's supposed to look like like a, a wrap dress a dress that wraps on I don't know if she's wearing a bathing suit under that or not I'm not sure no no she's not um, and these these are actually I don't they're painted on or print or pressed on the, these are paint detail right here on the actual dress it's not um, printed. Uh, I guess it's printed. Anyhow, it's painted. It's paint. It's like paint printed, pr paint pressed. And there are these cool flowers that are pink and purple with uh, black detail work in them. And then she has a different color ribbon type belt or tie. She also has these really really cute orangey sandals that don't have any paint de de detail on them but they have this cute bow. I don't know if you guys can see that very good in the camera and then the regular tread mark uh, she has a really light complexion and she has blue eyes you guys can see that they're really gorgeous blue eyes and then she has like almost a, a really really dark red almost I guess you want to say vampire red <laughs> lipstick. If you look really close you can see her fangs so that's cool. Uh, let's talk about articulation. Now she's actually considered, now she's a limited edition, like I said, uh, from Amazon only. And she's actually probably considered the cheapest one. I think she retailed for about $10 and the others were like 15. Um, and her sandals do come off. So I want to show you guys her feet cause she has some really cool detail work going on in her feet. If I can get that to even show up. She has a very light complexion, so, but she has, you can, her toes are all separated, you can see. Um, alright, so our, for our articulation, her head goes back and forth. Uh, it doesn't go up and down, so it just goes back and forth. 
Her shoulders go out and back and forth. She also has um, articulation at the elbow. So her elbow goes in. And uh, her waist thing goes, her waist legs go up. I don't think they go out. Let me see. They go up and then she has knee joints that also bend. And they turn. They turn, do they bend? Hmm. Yeah, they bend. See, guys, it's they they it's tight and they don't bend like they're not like super jointed where you can actually like kneel her all like bring her knees her legs all the way up to the back of her leg, but they do bend, and uh, they do twist. So there's a little there's limited posability, but there's enough posability I think, uh, especially for a ten dollar doll. Um, so yeah. Oh no, they do spread apart. Okay, she just had really tight joints, so which is really good. Um, I don't know if I've, I forgot to mention, she is by Jazzware. Jazzware, as far as I know, hasn't done too many, too much stuff on the ends of fashion dolls, and I think they did a really good job with this line. I'm really impressed with them, and I'm hoping to see something really good in the future from them. Um, other than that, uh, this is all we have for you guys today. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.